scientists in Brazil have started releasing genetically modified mosquitoes into the wild. It is part of an innovative and some say controversial new tactic to combat not West Nile virus, but dengue fever, which infects an estimated 100 million people a year. CCTV's Stephen Gibbs shows us more from northeastern Brazil. Three times a week, these scientists do something which appears counterintuitive. To combat a disease which is spread by mosquitoes, they let loose hundreds of thousands of mosquitoes. But these ones are genetically modified. Their offspring are programmed to die before reaching adulthood. Residents of this isolated community have long done what they can to protect themselves from insect bites and the threat of the dengue virus. Now they're all part of a pioneering experiment, though some are blissfully unaware of it. At the beginning, everyone here in the community was worried. They thought that freeing mosquitoes here was a bad thing, but now we understand that these mosquitoes are good for us. And the evidence suggests that the science really is working. In the space of just six months in this community, the population of the dengue-carrying mosquito has dropped by almost 90 percent. The mosquitoes are bred in this laboratory on the outskirts of the community. This factory will soon produce four million of them a week. Feeding time is an elaborate process. Cotton pads are first given the flavor of human flesh and then soaked in pig's blood. The dish is warm to body temperature and served. For some, this is all worrying, an example of man tampering with nature, with perhaps unforeseen circumstances. But those behind the project say it's no Jurassic Park. We studied quite a lot this mosquito inside of the lab, inside the lab before we put this mosquito outside in the field. So we are pretty sure how it works and are confident that there's no damage. And definitely, I think it can help humanity to get rid of any kind of disease. Just a matter of what to do and how to do it and do it properly. One precaution the scientists take is to only release male mosquitoes, which do not bite humans. The sexes are easily divided because male pupae are slightly smaller than females. Several countries around the world are closely following the results of this test. Research is also ongoing to see if malaria-carrying mosquitoes can be targeted in a similar way. Perhaps one day this quiet community will be remembered as the place where an important battle against prevalent diseases was won. Stephen Gibbs, CCTV, Juazeiro, Brazil.